Hello and welcome to Founders Fortune, where we are in autumn and Emma, weren't you supposed to sew these pumpkins? Thomas is now a level 7 farmer. I think he needs like one more level to be able to wear the master farmer's clothes. And yeah, some pirates are going to come over in a few days to demand some beer of us. We have what they want already, so we can be pretty um calm about it. No need to panic. Conrad, once you're done cutting down those trees, why don't you care for these ones? And actually, can you have a moment with yeah. Vanessa? Yeah, so you cut down those trees and then have your moment with Vanessa and then care for the apple trees. We'll see if we can make you guys a couple. That would be nice. We'll also see if we can make these apple trees grow. That would be very nice as well. Thomas, still baking us some strawberry cakes over there. I dare say we're doing pretty good on the cooked food. Also on the raw food. But especially on the cooked food, which has kind of been our Achilles heel for um, most of the time that um, we've been playing this, this playthrough. Yeah. Having four farmers is really nice because this way, even the summers and autumns go by quite um, without a panic. Our farming operation is large enough that the summers and autumns really do warrant for farmers. We are growing quite a few potatoes and a lot of wheat. So yeah, it is nice to have four farmers to take care of things here. Once we get a new colonist in here, one that um, yep. we can accept into our colony, we'll make them a forester slash miner, definitely, because we are going to need a lot of wood and stone for that shipyard. One uh, Forrester, well, we do have a couple of people who, who have the forestry profession. Conrad has it, has it, 
as his primary one and uh, Helen has it as her secondary one. Uh, but yeah, uh, we could really use another miner to, um, to help Helen with the stone gathering and the iron gathering as well, actually, because we need to build more safes, like a lot of them. Helen, oh, you're sleeping. And no, please, don't go stone mining, go iron mining. We just need one more iron to be able to build a large safe over here. We are going to need quite a few of them though. Maybe we'll even need like another house in the colony because we'll need to be able to store 8,000 coins and that's a lot. Oh, Vanessa, uh, hang on there. Um, we'll see to your hurt arm in just a moment. We just need one more iron and then we can build the safe. I want to do it before any goblins request any iron of us. Because, um, yeah. Yep, she's going to mine that iron. Shouldn't be long now. We just need to be patient for a tiny bit longer. We should be at 30 in, in just a moment. Come on, Helen. One more iron. Just one. There we go. Large safe over here or can we no because of the curtains okay over there then uh -huh. and vanessa uh -huh. we'll have dr bernhard come over here and see to your arm also, he needs to apologize to you. You have had an unpleasant talk recently, it seems. And now you've made him chase you all the way over here. The arm splint was a success though. Lovely. Oh, not impressed. Luckily, the apology always works and has a positive effect. It just would have had more of an effect if the impressing had worked. Farmers are busy farming. Nice. We do want a lot of wheat and potatoes. The winter. Sarah, honey. Rather than gathering cotton, would you like to water the wheat? Hmm. And yeah, Conrad. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already have a long list of tasks going on there. Mm. Is everybody going to bed or? Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
Vanessa, don't go around insulting people. If you really want something to do, you could remove all of these stumps. That'll keep you away from troublemaking for a while. These two. That's a nice long line of stump removal tasks. Alright. Mostly tomatoes, but we also have some strawberry cake and apple strudels. Yep. See if you guys can get a little closer to each other. That would be nice. We already have 10 iron ore again. Oh, hello, trader. Do you happen to have any iron to trade us? Mm -hmm. If you would, we'd be very happy to trade for it. Vanessa? Are you coming over here? Honey, it's... Okay, you can have the Master Forester's clothes, Brave Tribe. It's not going to take you that long to do the trading. Do this first, and then you can go have something to eat. We'll trade the clothes. And uh, no iron. I'm once again kind of tempted to just take the money. I think I will just take the money. And Vanessa, back to the stump removing duties. To keep you out of troublemaking. Farmers are working there. We are some way through the fall. Yeah. So I guess it won't be very many days until winter. We'll have to keep an eye on our fields and try to make sure that everything gets harvested before winter. Conrad. Ooh, hello. One of 
The apple trees in the front mm -hmm. has grown. Very nice. At that stage, I think it no longer needs care. No, it doesn't have the sign in front of it anymore, like the growing trees have. Yep. So now it'll just produce us apples and we, we just need to harvest them. Lovely. Wonder when mm -hmm. the other apple trees are going to get to that stage. Mm -hmm. It probably won't be all that long since that one already um, got there. The others are somewhat behind, obviously, but not that much, I think. Uh, would you like some healing potions, people of strength? Yeah, you would. Proud people of the sun. Some illness medicine for you. And mighty warriors of the forest. I don't think we have anything for you. But um, warriors of the north. You do take healing potions. Yeah, um, I'm trying to kind of um, remember to make sure to to give gifts to the goblin tribes every once in a while. Keep them from getting too hostile with us. Right. Now yeah. we just need to see that all of the wheat and pumpkins and potatoes get harvested. Unfortunately, we are. Um, we have so many healing plants that we are not going to be able to harvest and store all of the ones that we still have in the ground. But the yeah. wheat, pumpkins and potatoes we should mm -hmm. be able to yep. store. We just yep. need to get them harvested. Nice work, Sarah. Vanessa. Hmm. Do we want to enlist the help of non farmers here too? Because anybody can do the harvesting. There is so much that. Yeah, I think so. At least Vanessa can help. And Thomas keeps on cooking there. Making, um, making more room into our raw food storages. Yeah, the last day of fall. Mm, we really do need to get the harvesting yep. done. Pumpkins harvested. Lovely. 
so if we get any more pirates um, requesting beer from us, we can make more. I think we'll reserve the pumpkins for that. Plus, in case the goblins request any of us. Helen, getting us some more iron. We're already up to 22. We'll soon be able to make another safe. Raw food storage is getting into the yellow. I wonder if we'll be able to fit everything in there. I was pretty confident, but it's already in the yellow and we still have a ton of wheat and quite a few potatoes left to harvest. Nice, Joseph, making room in there, cooking as we harvest. The last day of fall is, um, is getting on towards evening, I think. Some people are already going to bed, or at least somebody was, was it Sarah? This is always a little bit, yep. a little bit, um, worrying having crops um, in need of harvesting still at this point when it's evening and it'll soon be night yeah. luckily we do have people who we can task with um, harvesting the wheat I do believe they will get it done we still have some over here on the other side as well. Yep. Oh, she's going to do some milking or something. Vanessa. Yep. Yep. And Conrad. Can you two get this done? Just the two of you? I think you can. Oh, all right. Nice. Unfortunately, the healing plants are going to wither. At least we got the wheat and potatoes and pumpkins. Yeah. Also, must remember to check yeah. this. The impress is available. So we'll have you do that and then continue to care for these, oh, it's winter, continue to care for these trees, hopefully some more of them will grow up soon.
Yeah, the poor healing plants will need to be removed now that they have withered in the winter weather. Oh, oh, I didn't keep an eye on the iron ore and look what happened. We had 31. Yeah. We could have um, built us another safe, but I took my eye off it for a little while and um, now we're back down to 20. I guess I really should look into the deep iron mine thing but it takes so much um money and well resources to build it I don't think we have very many iron deposits left on this island though, especially ones that aren't too close to any hostile goblins. So perhaps, perhaps I do need to look into the deep iron mining thing. Helen does have the skill for it, I think. We have 27 iron. We need three more to be able to make that safe here. Oh, Helen is actually mining stone, huh? Well, she's going to bed now, so we'll let her sleep. And then once she wakes up. Oh, there's only a little bit of iron left here. Just a couple of iron spawns. I'm really hoping the traders will have some iron for us next time they um, come here. Anyway, let's move time on very quickly until we get to that 30 iron and are able to build another safe here. Helen, you really don't need to sleep any more. You've already slept enough. Just go mine that iron. This time, I am not taking my eyes off that iron because, well, we really don't want a repeat of what just happened. I really want that safe. Yeah, this is kind of the challenge that we have here before the challenge of actually gathering the resources. We have the challenge of uh, upgrading our storage capacity enough that we can store the amounts of resources that we need. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll need uh, quite a few more safes in addition to those ones that we've already built.
that. Oh, yeah, we have the beer for you. Here you go. I think this is a good place for us to save the game. Yeah. And we'll go through winter next time. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.